Hi, my friend. Today, Levon Arunion and Hikaru Nakamura played the final classical game of the first leg of FIDE Grand Prix tournament. And the game was amazing in the sense that at the end, it was very tricky for both sides. Let's go to see what happened in the game. It's an Italian game. And at this position, Levon plays D3. This is a bit conservative um, variation to prevent martial uh, attack style to prevent many possible uh, lines for black that ends in the row but uh, I, I personally if it was a uh, game of life I was playing d4 and this is a, a scotch gambit line or it goes to some Italian game line for example if it takes with a pawn it doesn't matter you go in and attacking the f7 pawn if defense take 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 and final shot check with the queen win the bishop and enjoy the game so okay not exactly this line but something like that also if he takes with the knight a uh, similar line if it takes with the bishop we have a different story Again, we can go to h5 and play a very sharp game. Anyways, Levon didn't want to go too sharp because also these sharp lines, they, if you don't manage to win, you will end in the row or you will lose. You should be very precise. A single mistake is end of the day. So they both develop and normal Italian game. a4 is an important move to prevent b5 push. Developing knight and typical Roy Lopez style, you should always counter this very strong bishop of black because especially in, a, in a blitz games or rapid games, you should very be, be very careful about this bishop because you never know. It is uh, At this moment, it pins the f2 square and at some point, imagine this pawn, the h pawn is not there. Knight, for example, can hop in and because the f2 pawn is pinned, uh, you cannot grab it. Suppose h2 pawn is not there as well. And there are many mating threats in this case. So Levon simply counters that bishop and uh, Hikaru doesn't wait this time. He just grabs his black and he's happy with draw. So uh, removing more pieces from the board and making the game more symmetric makes the, the room more possible. But the game is very fantastic. Continuation is very fantastic. Now this a5 push prevents b pawn to go forward. And Levon again performs typical bishop maneuvers of Roy Lopez, let's say. And this bishop at this uh, diagonal. Uh, eyes on h7 and at some point if queen pairs with this bishop you may be able to deliver mate at h7 and h8 depending on the position and what are the pieces into play and of course you first should get rid of these two pawns without losing pawns actually just uh, just exchange them with the other pawns but this is a difficult task when black doesn't want to do that and black knows these tricks so Especially if black is a super grandmaster. Rook to e1. Push the pawn, takes, takes, and uh, push the pawn again. And white, of course, should uh, find a way to break through. Here is the important point. Hikaru played queen d2. Uh, sorry, Levon played queen d2. What do you expect from queen d2? To not get pinned by bishop. But then... He simply captures that bishop instead of moving the knight uh, or trying to do anything. Of course, the knight couldn't go anywhere. But for example, you could maybe defend it with a pawn, uh, with a queen, with a bishop. At the, uh, with a bishop, I mean. With a bishop at d1. I mean, otherwise, I don't understand queen d2. Okay, if he wants to take that bishop. Takes, takes. And then queen d1. I mean, just go back a few moves, queen d2, and then queen d1. Okay, let's go forward. And the push the pawn, and then Levon breaks the breaks the symmetry of the pawn. 
um, for Hikaru and no Levon has a better pawn structure. Levon has two pawn uh, chains and Hikaru has three pawn islands. And of course, Levon's position is much better. Here, Levon had to play calm and develop further, defend the B pawn. I don't know. I don't know. For example, something like that is okay. Okay. Uh, he has a bit of advantage and he doesn't need to go for fancy lines, but he prefers to perform fancy moves. Attacking the knight indirectly. This move is interesting. I mean, from amateur's point of view, it's interesting. You attack the knight on g4. And next move, uh, just I want to show you, this knight goes here. First here and next move goes here, attacking the queen, the pawn on d6. So it is amazing, right? Uh, it's with tempo, right? You are attacking the knight of your opponent, and then you go to c4 and attacking queen and the d pawn and what else do you want? But this fails simply because Hikaru is tricky and he knows what to do. And Hikaru simply takes the b pawn, says, "Okay." My friend, go and grab the knight, and I will win the game. So, of course, uh, Levon didn't go grabbing the knight, only then Levon understood, okay, it's time to survive. I mean, at this position, white should play a good move to survive. But this uh, <laughs> position changed uh, spontaneously. Any moment it changed. Let's see what happens. Attacks the uh, queen, okay, queen grabs the second pawn, Hikaru is up two pawns and down no piece. And finally, attacks the rook. Hikaru tries to save the rook, but then knight goes backward, something that Fabi forgot in his game against Anish. Knight goes backward and attacks the queen of black. Where does the queen go? Where do you put the queen? Hikaru put the queen on b2. Do you put it anywhere else? You don't have many squares actually. If you put it somewhere in this diagonal, okay, for example here, you feel that you are very clever or something like that, then takes the knight and then goodbye. If you put it somewhere to take i on the bishop, for example here, there is only one place except b2, there is only one other place, it is c4 and if you put it here and you feel that okay you keep eye on bishop and white cannot grab the knight true it cannot grab the knight but first attacks the queen and what can you do if you go backward then simply grabs the knight right and you lose but then in this position of course you should defend it but this doesn't help because you take with the knight after you take takes you take and then even grabs your pawn and hikaru will be down a lot in this position uh, yes hikaru has one um, outside pass a pawn and he's down exchange but that a pawn is very weak and will be captured there are enough many pieces um, for Levon to capture that pawn so hikaru played queen b2 very tricky move and what Levon did this time is Levon who should survive. As still Levon cannot grab this knight, right? Because Hikaru grabs the bishop and Hikaru is just up a whole lot of pawns and wins. So it's time for Levon to survive. Uh, the position changed a few moments ago. It was time for uh, Hikaru to find the only move to survive. And now it's Levon who should find the only move to survive. Levon finds the only move, rook b1. And again, queen doesn't have many places to go. Again, similarly, similar as before, going to this line doesn't uh, work because grabs the white grabs the knight. So Levon stays close to the bishop. Uh, Hikaru stays close to the bishop and Levon repeats his position and the game ends in a draw. Let's see what happens tomorrow in the rapid and blitz, perhaps blitz games and see who will win the first leg of the Grand Prix tournament. If you have an opinion, if I miss anything, let me know in the comments. And if you know a good game of these two players, let me know. 
to talk about that game. See you next time. Bye.